Hi, I Shiv Shankar Dyal welcome you again to the next video which I have prepared for uh, developers, C++ developers. So let's begin. In my last tutorial I have shown you how to install Linux Mint. Now to do C++ programming you need uh, debugger, uh, compiler and one editor. So let's see how to install some software so you click on menu go to administration there you will see synaptic package manager click on it will ask you for password so give it the password and then it will start the first time you run it you will need to reload so that your repository data is updated in your synaptic then click search so first we will search GCC, most probably GCC will be installed. So we see GCC is installed on my system. Then we need to install G++. G++ should also be installed. Similarly GDB. Install GDB. Now our IDE which I am going to use is Qt Creator. So we click it mark for installation so all these you select and say mark for installation and we also need valgrind so let's see valgrind mark for installation and when you select qt creator cmake will be automatically selected so if you choose to install cmake explicitly before qt creator you will have to say mark for installation and then you say apply apply will be highlighted when you select all this and uh, it will uh, prompt you in a windows window that how much data will be downloaded how much space uh, it will take and the dependencies will be automatically resolved when you select uh, anything for installation and then you let it install after installation is finished you can close this and uh, now we in the menu, programming menu, you can see Qt Creator. So let's launch it. Okay. So when you launch Qt Creator, it looks like this. Now, what uh, we are going to do is we are going to install some additional help files. So we go to this URL qt project.org slash wiki slash qt minus creator minus uh, sorry qt underscore Q creator underscore documentation underscore gallery and then you will see these links so whichever you want you download these qch files i will recommend these two and then this one and uh, this one so let's go to this one and uh, if you want you can download this one also Doxygen so we go here you can download the zzip file from here and then in Qt Creator you go and say tools options and you say add and then you point it to the directory which contains the QCH files and then select them and add them and after that you say apply after which you can see the contents you can see the C, C++ references you can see C++ C++ man pages you can see standard library reference and you can see standard template library So these will be immensely helpful while you do this and the Qt entire manual is here but uh, for C++ we won't need this so, as you can see you click this so things are explained for you in the documentation what does what we can browse through the documentation I'll see how to create a project in C and C++ and for Qt Creator and we build that so we say new file or project then we say general so we create a text file so 
I say choose and I choose the directory and put it in cpp open and I give it the name cmake lists dot txt okay and I say next I don't edit to version control I'm gonna say fresh then I say cmake underscore minimum version required I say 2.8 see syntax highlighting shows you whether you have typed properly or not and then I say simply project cpp and then I add a file to it add executable then I say test and I say test.cpp save it see test.cpp is our source file and this will be our uh, executable this we have not created yet test.cpp the executable will be created by cmake itself so let's create the cpp file so I say source file and then choose and in the same directory I make it test.cpp and I say finish let's type a very simple program include iostream into main uh, of course you will have to say using name space std and then we say see out hello universe um, that's it so we have created our cpp file and then we return zero that's it so I use stream so no such file or directory we'll see about that okay so our text file is also ready we have saved it now we close it now we close cmac.txt as well now we say file open file project and the cmac dot cmac lists dot text which we have created we point it to that and then it will say build directory and we select the same directory as build cpp and then we give it argument as dot that is you prepare the build in the home beneath and cpp directory so you run cmake okay it has encountered error it says unknown command okay so let's see there is something wrong with this command so it should be like this it gives you a hint cmake minimum required okay no problem so we go to this and we delete this portion and we say version we say this and then we try to open that file let's see if we can and similarly I say the argument and say run cmake now at this stage cmake which cmake lists dot txt which we have written it detects the c compiler c++ and it checks for working that it will try to make an executable out of that similarly it finds out the c++ compiler and does some configuration generates make files and those files are written to home minita cpp okay, we say finish now you may be curious that what is in that directory let's see what is in that directory so we go to cpp and see a make file has been generated the file which is of our uh, interest this is uh, probably your not probably this is your project file you can open it open it with the text editor you'll see what is written here it's a code blocks project file so our uh, Qt creator has created a code block split file and uh, so we go back to Qt creator and our project is there so now you see here we see build all we see test okay now we don't have any other option in build and we don't have any other option in test so let's say I say build so build and run 
this is build and run step that is if the files are not built it will build it and then run it if it is already built then it will run it only this is your build project only that it it will only build and this is your debugging so let's go to our cpp and let's say i say see out one more line one more line okay and I'll so now we can say build so the project has been just built i say run it will only run so you can see the output here we can debug uh, as well many facilities are given to you by qt creator you can debug you can analyze you have valgrind which uh, did we install no we didn't i think i showed you no we showed i showed you so you can install valgrind and you will have to learn about valgrind valgrind is a very powerful and advanced tool so we can debug using gdb now this build is probably our release build okay anyway well let's put up let's uh, debug this start debugging okay we don't have any debug build so we'll need to create a debug build for that you will have to specify a debug configuration so we'll have to open this and uh, you will have to edit your project and uh, here in the build settings you will have to change the build settings to include the mm, debug information so how to do that that i'll tell you in the next tutorial thanks and uh, see you soon